Bé! Bé! What's up guys, welcome to another video and today we're going to be exploring something very very simple but it can be challenging in this thing called how to add images within a react component, right? Well, whenever we all we want to do this, for example, let's go ahead and define our component. So now how to add images using a react component. I've seen a lot of people go ahead within the S or C folder and create an image folder and they technically go ahead and add all of their images in there and do different things and the whole reason is because when they try to do something like this let me give you guys a try for example let's say if we have something inside a public folder we have an image folder called goren dash ivos jpeg well if we try to refer to this image the location it is we are inside the app folder let's go ahead and we add an image tag and if i try to do all right go one level up slash public slash what is inside the public it's something called images and if i try to do images slash what is inside the image the image inside of it called goren that evos that jpeg all right so if i try to do something like this you see i am not able to find well what is the best way that i can tell react to refer to something that is inside a public folder now if you guys remember once you are using create react app it has a local dev server environment available for you. it's also saving the serving the public folder uh, onto the, that local server so what we need to do is is anything that is inside the, the 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 public file is available by just doing the slash whatever it is for example if i want to get access to that icon i can just do slash that favorite icon whatever it is and i will be able to get access to it well in this case i want to be able to get access to the image folder so i can just do slash images slash what is the image name and in goren dash evos dot jpeg all right so once we're able to do that then react will go ahead and find it for you and look at that there you go i'm now seeing the image of course the image seems to be too big so i'm going to add some css down here uh, slash refer to the up that CSS and once I add some CSS I'm gonna go inside my CSS I'm gonna say all right I want I'm gonna go inside my CSS and do I want the image to have a to have a height probably of 300 pixels something very short and let's see that refresh the page and ladies and gentlemen we should be able to see something that looks like this once again guys you should definitely consider adding all your image tag whatever it is inside this folder paul public and you can refer to it doing so this is just something that i really wanted to kind of highlight it because i've seen a lot of folks adding images folder inside this uh, uh these things right there which i would not recommend so you should highly consider adding your images inside a public folder that's where it should be located okay thank you guys for watching i hope this makes sense for you and see you guys in the next video